And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everybody. This is Keith once again and what we're going to do today is take a quick tutorial on how to benchmark your GPU utilizing DaVinci Resolve and what's known as the standard candle test. So very simple test. This is to test the GPU performance alone under heavy color correction settings. So you will use again DaVinci Resolve. If you're using DaVinci Resolve already, then you already have it. Great. If you don't, you can get it from blackmagicdesign.com under their DaVinci Resolve tab. So simple, easy to download. Now I'm going to point out there is a, there are two different versions. There is the free version, which is what I'm currently using because I'm saving up to buy the DaVinci Resolve Studio 15 or 15 Studio with the dongle. So with this, you're going to get noise uh, filter. So you'll be able, like temporal noise filtering to clean up your images if you have noise in them. So we're not going to be able to test that today, but we're going to show you how to test with color correction. So you'll download that, you go through the steps. So we're going to go ahead and pretend that you already have that installed. Now we're going to have all of these links, or actually this page right here linked down in the description below so that you can get to it. So this is the standard candle benchmark. And the idea here is you would follow this link here, then this one, and it's going to give you the files that you need to do this. And if you follow through this thread, you'll see where other people have benchmarked. And this goes back quite some time. This was actually developed for DaVinci Resolve 14, I think. Yeah, version four, or version 10, sorry. And this is back in 2014. So it's still relevant. Uh, film files don't really change a whole lot. So once you get, click on the carousel for the standard candle and a tutorial, that's going to be the video file that you're going to work with. So click on that tab. You're going to download it. We're going to go through the whole process because I deleted the file so that we could all do this from fresh. So that's downloaded and we're going to download the tutorial video and there it's downloaded and I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this. The next thing you're going to do is go to your downloads folder, however you navigate to it. So downloads, um, this is the DRP file, that's the project file, and this is the tracking video file. We're going to go ahead and extract that. We're going to just go ahead and extract it here, so it's in this file. And we're going to take these two files, I'm going to put this one in here, and then we're going, well, yeah, in here. And then we're going to move this file to our desktop. And we're going to move it here just so that it's easy to find here in just a moment. So we're going to go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve, which takes forever and a day. So the first thing you're going to be hit with whenever you open up DaVinci Resolve 15 is your projects page. Now, some people have the tendency on this point to go ahead and hit new project, new folder, whatever, and start it. Don't do that. Go ahead and right click here and go to import project. Very important. So import the project. Now, once you're here, you're going to navigate to your desktop and there's your folder. That's where you had it. Go ahead and open it. and You can see that you can select the DRP file. Go ahead and that's the DaVinci Resolve project file for those curious what DRP is. Go ahead and hit open. It's going to open it right there. So that's it. Now you're going to click open and you know, highlight it. You can select the other ones but pick that one. Hit open and it's going to open up the project. Now you get this big media offline, well depending on what tab it opens up in, for some reason it opened up to deliver. We're going to go to our edit tab and it's going to show uh, media offline. So what are you supposed to do now? Well this is very simple, just go up here to your file because this is where it's supposed to be. Now you're going to hit relink and you're going to navigate to your desktop. So I'm going to go through here, users, me, uh, go to desktop, this is the folder it's in. I'm going to go ahead and click the folder, hit OK. And there you go. It's relinked it. Now what do you do for the benchmark? Well, you're not going to render it. You're, you're going to leave everything the way that it is for right now. Now one thing you can do if you want to make it really crazy and just add it, double it up, whatever you can add to it, copy paste, copy paste to make it longer. And this is only a three second or two second clip. So, I mean, you can watch it here. It's very choppy, very choppy. So <laughs> the idea is you're going to go over here to the color tab and what you do here, well, from here you can actually see all of the nodes that are placed on here. So these are layers of color, 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 color correction, if I can get my words out. So down here you can see that they're all enabled. Now if you want to disable it, 66 nodes of color correction. So you can click here to remove them and you can go down if you want to test different levels. But full bore with mine, I'm going to go ahead and open up task manager and we'll go to performance and we're gonna go just leave it open right, right here this is uh, my system this is my workstation and with the 980 Ti in it and we're gonna minimize that and we're gonna hit play
but let's go ahead and stop it. I just want to take a moment and see if there's any impact by reducing the number of nodes that are being used. So I took it down to 40 layers and I want to see if it goes from 7 and 8 frames per second if it actually increases the performance. And it did quite substantially. We're up to uh, 11 to 13. I know how that sounds. It doesn't sound that great. But if it, essentially, the long story short is if you see people using this benchmark to benchmark video cards in DaVinci Resolve, this is a way that you can test it for yourself to see how your system compares to the one being tested in a review or in some type of benchmark or just, just to see if it's worth it to upgrade. Well, I know for me, the 980 Ti still performs great in this application so really not that stressed on replacing it anytime soon so if you found this video informative whatsoever feel free to leave us a like and a comment or subscribe and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you guys in the next one